Now that we've created the character, let's go ahead and give the character some items. Items are anything that the character can carry, such as an assault rifle, a sword, a shield, a magic item, a grenade, or even the character's own hands and feet. In the hand and feet example, an item is created so that the character can punch and kick. And since the hand and feet are attached to the character, the actual item game object is just empty and it's just a representation of the hand and feet. So with that said, let's go ahead and open up the item type manager. And we're doing this because item types are a representation of the items. And this is done just so that you can easily pick up a certain item within the scene. It just kind of references the type of item. So this item type manager is open now and you can see by default we have a whole bunch of different item types. Well, let's go ahead and just kind of completely clear that out because we want to start with our own. So we're going to create a new item collection and item collections are just, a, uh, it's just kind of a grouping of items and we're going to, yeah, so we just created that item collection. Now let's go to the categories tab and make sure we have this item category. This is where all of our item types will be stored. So let's go ahead and create our first item type called assault rifle. Actually my assault rifle since it's mine. And we'll go ahead and hit add. The category will set be set to items and we want a max capacity of one. Now we're gonna create a bullet for that assault rifle and this will be done so that the character can fire something from the bullet uh, bullet there we go and now let's hit add the category for this consumable type of item such as a bullet it doesn't really matter so it can be left as items or you could select nothing and um, the capacity we want to have set to the max value so that looks good so now we've created this item collection. Let's go ahead and see where it's stored. And this step is really important, but we'll want to select our character and scroll down to the item set manager. There could be some equip issues if this step isn't performed. So make sure you go to the item set manager right here and we'll drag our item collection into the item set manager. When you're creating your character, you could also select the item collection that you created by default but in that case it was set to the demo item collection since that's what we created with. But since we're creating a new item collection, make sure you've set up your my item collection to be set to the item set manager's item collection variable. So now that that's set up, we can go ahead and start actually create the items.